peace, stress free, let it be. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Ashley, and today I have a story time about my eating disorder, which is called avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. If you wanna know some more about that, I actually have a whole video describing a little bit about it and how it like presents in myself and how it affects my life and stuff like that. That'll be linked right here and also at the end of this video. So if you do wanna learn some more about that, make sure you go check that out. Today, I thought that I would share one of my experiences related to ARFID. I feel like sharing my experiences could help people better understand it, better understand how severe it can be, how restrictive it can be, and can just kind of give an idea of like the reactions and just kind of how it like manifests, I guess. I did say in that first video when I talked about ARFID that I was gonna be sharing the story, I believe. So here it is. Also, thank you all so much for the support on that video. It really means a lot. I love that so many people, not that so many people are going through it, but that so many people are feeling like they're able to talk about it, finally understanding what they've been experiencing for a lot of their life. And I'm glad that we can make like a little like community underneath of that video of people who have really similar experiences. That means so much to me and so many people have said that it helps them feel less alone hearing me talk about it and seeing other comments about it. And it also helps me feel so much less alone because honestly before I made that video I didn't know anybody else who went through anything remotely similar to this. The most I had was like online forums of like random people, but it's really different when people are commenting on my video saying that they experience similar things. It helps me a lot so i really really appreciate that thank you to everybody who has commented who shared their stories and just who has shown support for that video i really appreciate it so this is going to be like a story time-esque video um it's a pretty serious thing but i am going to be laughing a little bit through it because it's kind of funny and like kind of ridiculous sounding but yeah it's it's serious oh so yeah let's get right into the story it shouldn't take too long when i was in my i think second year of undergrad but it might have been my first year of undergrad, but I'm pretty sure it was my second year, whatever. I was in a plant biology class as one of my like science classes that I had to take. Just a little bit of background on me as a student. I like to do really well. I like to get A's. I am definitely that person that will go up to the teacher, not so much in high school, but in college. I was that person that would like go up to the teacher, email the teacher after and be like, hey, why did I get this grade and kind of try to like negotiate a better grade, you know what I mean? That was definitely not the case in high school, but something switched in college where I just really wanted to do well and I loved getting really good grades and when I didn't get a good grade, I felt really bad and that whole thing. So for this biology class, we had like a lecture class, whatever, just like a huge lecture hall and then we had a... Uh, what is it called? A lab where we would do like more hands-on stuff related to what we had learned in the lecture the, like two days before or something like that. So previously, for some reason, I can't remember why exactly I had told my teacher about this, but I had mentioned to my teacher that I didn't eat vegetables. It was something, but it was way before I knew about ARFID. I think at this time I was thinking that I had a phobia of vegetables but then when I realized it wasn't only vegetables that I like had an issue with I was like no that I don't think that's it but I had thought that at the time that it was a phobia right so <laughs> my teacher knew this fact okay but I don't think she understood like how severe it was so I definitely don't like blame her for this it's kind of my own fault actually looking back on it one week we were looking at like the pigment of vegetables and all that kind of stuff and I asked my partner if she could touch all of the vegetables and I could just like, you know, observe and take notes and stuff. I just, I did not want to touch them. She was like, why? And then I explained like, oh, I like gag and have panic attacks. Like I, like I could not even touch vegetables. Thankfully I've gotten a lot better because I make my dog's food. That's actually the only thing that's gotten me to be able to touch vegetables is making my dog's food by myself. But at the time I could not touch vegetables without having some kind of like physical outward reaction to it though so i just asked if like she could do all the touching and all of that whatever and she was like yeah you know that's fine so my teacher comes around collecting an assignment that i didn't do for some reason i like i said i was a good student i did every single assignment but i don't know if i just forgot i don't even know why it was like so unlike me to not do an assignment so when she was collecting the assignments before we got started with the lab i was like oh I forgot it at my <laughs> dorm. I, I don't think that's the excuse I said. I said some kind of excuse, whatever. And she was like, oh, well, you don't have to turn it in. Because if I turned it in late, I would get no credit for it. She's like, well, you don't have to turn it in if you try one of these vegetables that we're 
you know, studying. <laughs> just thinking about it, I was like, ah, I was so nervous. Yeah, so she was just like, here, like, just take a bite. Like, it's fine. They're all washed. They're clean. Like, nobody's touched them yet, you know? Like, it's fine. Just try it. Because she knew that I had this, like, phobia or, like, this dislike of vegetables. And she had told me, like, oh, that's not really healthy. Like, you need to eat vegetables. Like, she was going through all of this, like, stuff on why I needed it. So then it got to the day, and she was like, here, eat this vegetable, and I'll give you full credit for your paper. Which wasn't really fair now that I think about it, but that's fine, you know? So even though I do have ARFID and I do have these reactions to food, for some reason there are things that I can like mentally suppress. Not the reaction, I'll still have the reaction, but I can mentally suppress like my inability to eat whatever it is that I don't want to eat for a few like motivations. I think that that would be money. I've never been paid to like eat something, but I think if somebody was like, I'll give you a thousand dollars to eat this, I would eat it, you know? And at the time, it was grades because I really, 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 really cared about my grades. So her saying, if you just eat one of these vegetables or a piece of one of these vegetables, I will give you whatever, 20 out of 20 on this paper that you didn't do. I don't know. That just like made me, I was like, okay, well, I need to do it because I need credit on this paper. So I have to do it, right? Or this assignment or whatever it was. And prior to that, I had tried eating, I think like carrots, and a couple other ones and I didn't have such a big deal with carrots I just I didn't really like them but I could tolerate them kind of it was like a week I think in high school that I was eating carrots that like somebody told me like oh carrots help your eyesight and it was when my eyes started getting like all blurry like my eyesight started going so I was like yeah and I was like eating like three carrots a day or something like that for like a week and then I just got over it <laughs> and then I just got like disgusted by carrots again but broccoli I've had a problem with broccoli for as long as I can remember. Apparently, according to my parents, I used to eat broccoli all the time, no problem. But one thing I do remember is my aunt, not actually my aunt though, like my mom's aunt, so like my great aunt, I think. I thought it was my grandma, but my mom recently told me it was actually my aunt, which is her aunt, not actually my aunt, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so apparently my aunt told me that broccoli were little trees. When I was like little and like young and impressionable, she would call broccoli like little trees, right? Um, and in my little child mind, I was like, oh my gosh, if I eat a little tree, a big tree is gonna grow inside of me, duh. That doesn't make sense, and I know that now. But like, I still have a severe like fear of broccoli. I don't know why. Um, it's not because of that, but I feel like it might be like subconsciously because of that. Anyways, so of course the one vegetable that she picks for me to eat to make up for this assignment is broccoli and she's like here just eat a little piece she like picks a little piece off of like the top of the broccoli like the what is it called the floret or whatever you know the little part with all the little things that feel so weird yeah <laughs> she picked a little piece off of that and it was not that big it was maybe like this big can you see that it was like that big right so not a big deal except for then she got the entire class and she was like here, let's watch Ashley eat this piece of broccoli. Why would you do that? <laughs> so I was already embarrassed because I do like attention, but I also don't like attention. So all eyes were on me and I was already pretty embarrassed. And then I was also pretty embarrassed because I knew I was gonna have some kind of reaction, but I also really wanted the credit for the assignment. So I was willing to tolerate the reaction to get the credit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, it's like making me nervous thinking about it. So everybody's looking at me. She hands me the piece of broccoli. And I just sit there with it in my hand and I'm like, oh my god, like in my brain, I'm like, I'm touching broccoli. What the heck? Like I'm freaking out in my brain already and I haven't even eaten it yet. And I'm just freaking out that I'm touching the broccoli. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. This is so dramatic. But really, like that's what was going on in my head. And so then she was like, come on, like just eat it. And she was like, I'm gonna come back down from three, and when I get to like zero, like you have to eat it. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And everybody was like staring at me like, it's literally just broccoli, just eat it. Like what's, what's wrong with you? At least that's what it felt like. I don't know if people were actually thinking that, but it felt like people were looking at me like, come on, just hurry up. And I was like, I don't know why I can't just eat it like a normal person. <laughs> she counts down from three, three, two, one. And then she goes to zero and I throw it in my mouth, just not even thinking. I was like, okay. And I throw it in my mouth and I start chewing. Oh my God, <laughs> hold on, I'm like, I'm starting to gag just like thinking about it. Um, yeah, so I put it in my mouth. I start chewing and I feel those little things on the top like like dispersing in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I hear like the crunch of like eating like the little stem part of the broccoli. And oh my god, my face turned 
bright red, right? And I'm trying so hard not to throw up because that would be like 10 times more embarrassing than like anything going on at that moment. So I was trying so hard not to throw up, not to like gag, but I couldn't help it. So I did swallow it, but as it's like going down, I start like gagging and then I start just sobbing because I was pretty sure I was gonna die. I was like 100% sure I was gonna die. Well, like 99% sure. And so I just start sobbing and then I like swallowed it and I just ran out of the room because I was like, one, I need something to wash this down. That's, I just need to not taste this anymore. I need to not, I need to chew on something that like doesn't make that noise when I eat it or have that like texture. Ugh. Um, yeah, so I was like freaking out and I ran out of the room. I was sobbing. And people were like laughing at me. <laughs> it, was, it was so embarrassing. And even my teacher was laughing at me kind of. Like she was like, what's wrong? And I think she thought that she was doing a good thing, like helping me get over like this fear of vegetables that I, you know, said I had. Uh, but she was not helping at all. If anything, I just feel like I got more traumatized from that experience. Because even after that, I could like tolerate like touching and like smelling other vegetables but as soon as broccoli came anywhere near me i just like froze and i was like no so i'm pretty sure i got tra traumatized from that luckily now my dog eats a lot of broccoli in her food so i am like getting better at like touching it but when we first went to go buy it for her food i was literally sitting in the store just staring at it and i was like i can't grab it i don't i don't know i can't grab it i literally had to have my boyfriend like grab the broccoli for me because <laughs> i could not grab it but yeah so i did end up getting credit for my paper i ended up going and buying some skittles from the vending machine so that i could not taste or feel the broccoli in me anymore like in my mouth i embarrassed myself in front of my entire class <laughs> for a grade which was oh my god it was so embarrassing i was literally gagging in front of everybody like it was so disgusting. So I got laughed at, I embarrassed myself. Uh, my teacher never asked me to eat another vegetable again once she saw my reaction, so that's good. I had a really good sob. I think I hadn't cried for a while, so it felt really good to cry, you know? Not so great thinking that I was gonna die, but hey. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't eaten broccoli or tried to eat broccoli or even thought about trying to eat broccoli since that time because it was traumatizing to say the least. But at least I got the credit though, am I right? So yeah, that is one of my more significant stories that I have from ARFID. None of the other ones are too like crazy or like funny really to tell. But if you like this video, I'm sure I could like remember one that was like significant enough to tell. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see I don't know more story times or I do have a few more videos planned talking about my eating disorder. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see those. Also, feel free to leave comments down below of recommendations that you would like to hear me talk about regarding ARFID. I'm not like an expert on it by any means or anything, but I do have it, so I can speak on some things a little bit. <laughs> I'm also not like a like psychologist or like eating disorder expert or anything like that. I don't claim to be. It's just something that I have, that I experience, and that I have experienced for the majority of my life. So I do like to talk about it, help people understand it, help people, I don't know, learn about it who may not know about it, uh, help people understand the things that they go through that are similar, you know, stuff like that. Sorry if this video was like all over the place. I didn't have anything planned out. I was just like kind of sat down and was like, I think this is the video I want to make today. So sorry if it was all over the place. I don't have any like notes or anything. Hopefully it's still like easy to follow. That's kind of just how I tell stories. It's kind of like all over the place. I'll try to get better at it though. <laughs> and yeah, so that is my story. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope that at the very least it was entertaining, but it could also give you an idea of how serious our food can really be. I know I was like laughing throughout it, but it is pretty serious. Those are just one of the many reactions that people have. Everybody experiences ARFID differently. That is just how I personally experience ARFID. So I thought that I would share to hopefully help inform people and help people better understand ARFID a little bit. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for listening. I think I just said that, but you know, I'm saying it again. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you all in my next video on Saturday. Bye.